So the very, very last thing I want to do is we've got just a very few questions selected from our audience um, that we asked uh, in the podcast. And actually goes very well in line with this is, so one of them is um, how do you balance running a business and your kind of daily life? Because yeah. um, you said, obviously, you're working weekends, even if stuff like that. Um, do you have a, a, a wife? Because yeah, a wife, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what's is that something that your wife was aware of from the get go? That that's going to be the case, or like, how do you find that balance and that keep that relationship from going without her being pissed off, essentially? Yeah. So she, I mean, she's great because she she now runs a business which she, she didn't do when we first met. Um, I kind of so you converted her. Yeah, converted. <laughs> yeah. And um, when we first started, when we first started, actually, that was when I was buying my business partner out. So that was when I had no money. I had, you know, uh, sort of I think it's ten to twenty grand's worth of debt. The business was kind of really at its, its worst point because we were separating, and I didn't want to put the work in until I'd bought him out. So she was kind of covering, helped me cover my rent. She was like looking after me. So she's always been great from the start. And I think she's always understood that I was going to have to put a lot of work in to really build it back up. But it, even as we went along, I think it was more like on holiday, I'd take the, the MacBook with me or the iPad and I'd be just checking on emails. And she'd be like, oh, can you not just put that away for like 10 minutes? You know, let's go out and go for a walk. Yeah. But now she started a business. She, she has her own production company and um, she's worse than me now. So yeah. we go on holiday and we're... We're terrible because we'll both be sitting there on the bed, you know, be a beach over there, and we're like on the laptop for an hour yeah. in the morning. And we we both keep saying, right, next time we're not going to take laptops with us. But it's just when it comes around, yeah. you're like, oh, that thing's coming in. I need to check this is going away. And I'll just check it for an hour while you're in the shower. And yeah. but you know, and you, do you think that's sustainable? I th I think it, I think as long as you're both when it comes to relationship, I think as as long as you're both on the same page, um, it's usually okay. I think if what. I think you do need to be mindful of the other person uh, and, and yourself, you know, I, I think you can work too hard because I think I, I found sometimes I'll just work to work and probably I could have waited until the next day and come with a clean mind and fresh cup of coffee and I would have probably got it all done much quicker. I think especially with YouTube and stuff, I can get into a bit of a rabbit hole of, of wanting to learn how to do something and I'll watch 20 videos on the same thing which all take, you know, half an hour each. And I'm sitting up all night. And really the answer was in the first video, but I just wanted to make sure. And so uh, um, I, I do have to get better at it myself. But I think, yeah, in a relationship, I think you do have to be mindful of the other person. If they're not, you know, you're going to push them away if, if they're not 100% on the same page as you. Yeah, so. yeah. I'll, I'll just kind of piggyback on this question just a bit um, and, and touch on burnout. Because I would imagine throughout 15 years, you've dealt with that. Yeah. How did you deal with it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've definitely definitely had it. I think a couple of areas with yeah, one when I was buying buying my partner out. And then I think I, I think just before we, we started doing the YouTube again, I was getting a little bit bored if I'm honest, you know, I was because I wasn't we've got an online business, so I don't speak to the customers directly. It's all handled very well, so they place an order online. And we weren't doing the YouTube videos. I don't have that many staff. So I just felt a bit almost a bit lonely, a bit down, and I think it was just like do I want to be doing this for the rest of my days? You know, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but it's just a bit lonely, you know. Um, so I think actually that would be a bit of advice. If you, if you do ever feel like that, what can you do maybe even within your business to, 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 to maybe, I don't know, network a bit or create a community? So for me, doing that YouTube channel, again, was great because um, it was something that I enjoyed doing. I actually enjoyed editing and I wasn't doing that anymore. Um, we were building a community. The staff are a bit more involved in it too, um, and they're seeing that like the instant benefits of we're getting a lot of views and, and subscribers and things. So um, I think that I think that definitely helped um, those burnout phases. Just kind of sitting back and, th and thinking, what can we do to to change things up? Mm. So I either I'm a little bit less stressed, or we're just getting a bit more excitement back into yeah. into yourself or your business. Yeah, you know. And yeah, so I think I think like from my perspective as well, um, I think I take a bit of a different approach. Um, I almost force myself and especially employee, my employees to do clock out at five, to have those evenings, to have those weekends um, so that they're ready to go. If there was a case that we need to work the weekend, I know you're at the top of your game. 
because I know all of my employees are ready to go. Like if we need to do something over the weekend, they'll, they'll do it, right? Um, but that's kind of, you know, I want to make sure that each and every single day they're fresh. Yeah. And that includes me as well. Like I used to be full on, on all the time, you know, in the office at five, go to sleep at 12, just, just go, go, go. Um, until I started slowly burning out, right? That's even kind of worse. There's no like one crash. It's just like yeah. continuous going down. Um, and now it's kind of like, I mean, it's now different because I got a kid, so it's a different game. But before that, it's like six o'clock, phone airplane mode, six to nine, family time, whatever that is, Netflix and chill, just completely like dumb it out, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, or even if it's, you know, educational, but it's just something very different, yeah. you know, or, or, or just going, I know, play basketball or so, something that's completely mm. out mm. of work. And I think forcing yourself to, to switch off from your business is okay. Like it's yeah. not gonna die. No. Like it's, you should be confident enough that you've done the groundwork yeah. that it shouldn't die. Um, and that's kind of my approach. I, I think uh, I think the example you gave of you, you sat next to a beach, but you're still working. Most mm. people work hard and work for a job they don't enjoy because mm. they have in their head, they're working towards getting on that beach. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that you are at that beach, but you're still working shows that you actually enjoy what you do. And yeah. and it isn't that oh, I, have to, I have to work so that I can Go mm. go to the beach, that mm. type of thing. Mm. I think that's worth worth that. You, you know, you know, you've made it when you you you're at the place you want to be, as in the beach or drinking a cocktail. You know, that. Mm. But you still you still doing the work. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably one of the freedoms of uh, uh, having your own business or working for a business that is a bit more chilled. Is it? Yeah, you can you can do do that. I, I think the problem is though, you you can. When you do it too often, because I think it sounds, it sounds, does sound quite nice like being at the beach doing work, but in reality, you're, you're just missing out on life a little bit sometimes. And I think if you don't switch off and you, you know, because the phones are the worst, you just, you're constantly checking your phones, you're getting a tweet in, you know. And um, it's like Jonas was saying, I think it's good to have some just clean breaks so that when you do come in, you're, you're fresh because you're still, you're still naturally going to think about your work or your business, but you can actually just take a seat back and, and be like, it's just something that just clicks every now and again. You're like, this is why this isn't working because you've, you've taken like two hours to s do something differently. Yeah. You can reflect on it better yeah. rather than being distracted by just normal work stuff. Yeah. yeah. You tend to, I think you tend to listen more to employees and your friends and stuff as well. If you're just in it, in it and someone's like ringing you, you're just, you're not really listening to them. You're just, your head's still in that space. I still, I like just, I mean, it's a bit hard now with COVID, but I still like just getting out for a coffee and just watching the world go by and, mm -hmm. you know, just sit in Starbucks or something at the window for, mm -hmm. for a couple of hours, you know. 